Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to the FIFA 15 demo. I know a lot of you guys will have had hands on with this already and uh, as to uh, fill the slots for the UT slash other schedule slot, uh, we're actually going to be doing uh, a live con with each of the demo teams. There are eight teams on the demo, Napoli, PSG, FC Barcelona, Boca Juniors, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City and Dortmund. We'll start with Dortmund considering we've, uh, we've just been doing the Dortmund career mode which finished earlier on today by the way so check that video if you missed it but so I'll just randomise three times and we'll see who we get. I can't play Dortmund, so we'll play Napoli. Uh, I'm just going to do a live con with each of the different teams. We'll have a look at maybe some new animations. Uh, maybe you'll get my like, live reaction to new animations and different cutscenes, etc. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm ho hopefully not going to have these things be too long. We'll put it on or off semi-pro. We'll put it on professional. We'll just leave it on professional for now, just for entertainment purposes. There's no point going out of the way to play on uh, you know, legendary or world-class just for the sake of... Uh, you know, the demo. Might as well play it on a, diff a difficulty setting where we're actually going to get some chances and some goals. Uh, I think I'll just leave the starting lineups as they are. In fact, actually, I'll take uh, Bender out, Sven Bender for Ilke Gundogan. But other than that, I think we'll leave things as they are. This is, of course, as you can see, the new team management screen. This will be the case for the uh, the full game as well. It looks quite slick, actually. I do like the change, although it would be nice if... Uh, this wasn't the only thing that they've changed career mode wise other than uh, visuals etc when it comes to actually playing the game so uh, other than the visuals and the Barclays Premier League licensing and the team management there aren't really many changes to uh, to career mode at all uh, a couple of new skill games obviously which are expe which you would expect with a new title but we'll jump straight into the game as soon as it gives me the option to. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like if you do enjoy. Of course, leave me some feedback in the comments. If you'd like me to just uh, do like a post-com as opposed to a live-com, then I will do. This is kind of going to be the first of, uh, of the eight videos. It should actually fill that slot nicely all the way until the, uh, the full release in about ten days' time. So, fingers crossed you enjoy. And uh, we'll jump in and uh, have a look at Borussia Dortmund. It's only four minutes a half, so I'm not sure how much action we'll actually be able to get in. Actually, Napoli having the first chance of the game there. I'm not sure how much action we'll get into it. I'll, I'll try and, uh, you know, include... Oh, that was a poor goal kick. I'll try and include as much, uh, you know, goal mouth action as I possibly can. We'll try a lot of through ball here if Chiro Immobile can run onto that. And he has had the chance. Uh, can I hold off the men, have the shot perhaps? That's a good start. We're 1-0 up already. You see the man running off and he actually, I'm not pressing anything, he celebrates on his own like that, which is quite a nice addition. And if you just run off the pitch, he'll actually do an automatic celebration like that. I didn't actually have to press anything other than just running off the pitch. So that's a nice addition. I do like that. And uh, the players have loads of different, uh, you know, default celebrations. Some of them put their arms out like the aeroplane and sway from side to side. Some do kind of a fist pump. You saw Immobile there running off with two arms in the air. Obviously players with uh, trademark celebrations will do theirs, like Messi runs off and does his point to the sky, etc. I'm not sure whether players like Di Maria and Gareth Bale will run off and do like the little love heart symbol. We'll have to wait and see, I guess, for the full release. But that was a decent goal. I'm pleased with that. Nice ball over the top. Over top through balls have been nerfed a little bit, as you'll be able to tell from playing the game yourself. Obviously this is a very, very early build of the game, so you have to take everything you see here or you see when you play yourself with a pinch of salt if there are any bugs or goalkeepers particularly are, uh, are quite uh, unpredictable shall we say they sometimes make absolutely world-class saves that they have no right to get to and other times they'll just completely ignore the ball but it is key to remember that it is an extremely early build of the game this was probably the first playable version of the game that uh, was available and of course there was the uh, closed uh, thing that I won't actually mention but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about and after having played that it definitely was more improved so hopefully the full game will be uh, more refined I actually got caught on the ball there but yeah the full game should be more refined than uh, this demo or the uh, previous aforementioned uh, closed playable thing and uh, I'll actually try and hit this out a nice punch by the goalkeeper that was a nice animation there are some brand new goalkeeper animations quite a lot actually but I have had a couple of problems with players locking off the ball, which uh, was an issue in FIFA 14. That's a nice ball across over to Immobile again. Can we get this underneath the goalkeeper? No, great reaction save from uh, from Raphael. I think they play in goal now. Um, Napoli, of course, they did have Pepe Reina, but he's now gone to uh, to Bayern Munich, so he won't be playing for Napoli this year. 
Napoli actually struggle when it comes to having a world-class goalkeeper. So if you are looking to do a, a career mode with Napoli, and I guess we'll pl cover that more in depth when we actually play with Napoli, then uh, you know, oh, then you will have to definitely look to get another goalkeeper if you want someone that's a little bit world-class. That was good defending there from Fernandez. If you make me the run, I'll try and find you with a lot of through ball. Through balls over the oh ref, that was a really strong challenge. Just completely wiped Gundogan out there. That was quite good, actually. Oh, that's a heavy task. We'll try a long shot, shall we? Mkhitaryan, oh, just over the top of the bar. Goalkeeper didn't react until the ball was already out of play, which is quite disconcerting. Look, goes to leave it and then decides, actually, I'll dive now, and the ball's already 10 yards past him. That was a good effort from Mkhitaryan. I have noticed a couple of times, if you shoot from outside the box, just randomly, your ball, the shot will, you know, won't be as... I'll start that again, shall I? If you shoot randomly from outside the box, the ball tends to either fly wide or quite high. You have to really pay attention to, uh, you know, to all the, the parameters with regards, like how fast your player is moving, what the angle on the ball is, how his touch has been, where the ball is in re uh, regards to his actual foot, and what spin is on the ball. He seems to be, you know, quite in depth when it comes to all of the different uh, inputs for a shot. And uh, it's quite good to see, it's more realistic, uh, how refined that will be where, uh, in the full game, I'm not too sure, but we're going at half-time with a 1-0 lead. The graphics do look really nice, visually the game is extremely impressive, even at this demo stage. Obviously the visuals won't really change that much between now and, uh, and the full release, it's more so the actual gameplay itself. But it is really impressive visually. The pitch degrades really nicely. The players look fantastic. And uh, obviously the crowd and the audio is good as well. Especially when you play as Liverpool here at Anfield. The uh, the audio for uh, You'll Never Walk Alone. They sing it at the beginning of the game, obviously. And then as the, uh, the game's coming to a close, they really absolutely belt it out. And it sounds tremendous. Make me run, please, Marco. We'll play the ball down the line. It's not Marco. It's actually Chiro Immobile. I'll try... A turn, and we'll put the ball into the box. Mkhitaryan with a header. That is a great header, and into the bottom corner. You see again, that was a really nice header from Mkhitaryan there. Good ball in from Immobile, and the power on the header and the placement is really good, actually. You see the ball, it twists and turns. You see if the ball, the spin on the ball, and the bend on it, just take it away from the goalkeeper. That was that all came from the angle it hit his head, and the power on the cross, and where on the ball he hit it with his head, and where on his head it hit. So uh, that's really nice to see. I do like the, uh, the new ball physics. Sometimes it can be a little bit wayward, but that's probably just the early demo build. So, like we say, everything should be more refined by the time we get to the full game. I'm not sure how long this video will be. I've kind of live conned the entirety of it so far. I'll probably, uh, you know, cut and paste different parts of it so that it's not 15 bajillion minutes long. Otherwise, you guys will perhaps get a little bit bored of it. But still, hopefully you're enjoying it so far. If you are, then feel free to leave the video a like. And uh, let me know in the comment section which team you would like me to look at for Friday. I may just do uh, Liverpool straight up Friday so uh, you can hear the um, you know the charts etc for Anfield. It's just about made it over the top. Well, that was a heavy touch. Uh, yeah, I, m I might just do Liverpool for Friday but then leave me suggestions in the comment section. That was not the clearance I intended uh, for the videos for next week. Obviously this will come to you actually no for Saturday because this will be the uh, that extra slot. So yeah, just leave me some suggestions in the comments for who you would like me to look at next. And I'll just take those into account for Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Of course, uh, if you check the description for the schedule, uh, we will be doing this in the Ultimate Team slash other slot. So it will be coming to you at 8pm on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. My player and career mode videos will be unaffected by this demo content. Although the Dortmund career mode finished earlier on today and I do have a new mini-series with regards uh, career mode starting tomorrow so uh, check your sub boxes for that at 1pm or whenever you get home Gild Gundogan with a good shot there that'll be uh, I won't spoil it it's going to be a new interesting series something I've not done before it is FIFA 15 career mode related so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it by the time that you see it but uh, yeah 20 minutes to go here and we're still tuning up the ball around the corner for Blazikowski to run onto and we've got plenty of options in the box I'll try a drilled cross, I've not done one of these yet oh, Marco Royce tries the diving header, doesn't quite get there, Mkhitaryan can't get on the end of it, I've made a couple of substitutions so we'll uh, we'll watch the animation here as they come off the pitch Aubameyang and Ramos coming on for Blazikowski and Immobile add that little bit of extra pace out wide with Aubameyang although, to be fair, Blazikowski's no slouch on his own, is he? but still, and uh, they're making a change as well Pandev coming on, I think 
for Lorenzo Insigne. So, 10 minutes to go, still 2-0. I do like the uh, the new substitution animations. It's obviously nice. They're not necessarily the biggest changes, but it's uh, it's nice to see that they haven't just kept it the same. I actually have a shot here with a Bamiyang. Oh, a decent save by the goalkeeper. Obviously, little animations like that and uh, the replays and stuff, it's nice to see extra stuff added in because otherwise it would be extremely samey as opposed to, uh, you know, the previous year. And with regards to career mode, there are a lot of features that are exactly the same. Another good save down low by Raphael. So, uh, as you can see there, just swell on his arm. You see his, his, uh, his shirt is dirty and his, uh, his shorts as well. Obviously, uh, I don't know whether you've seen it, you probably have done or heard about it. As the game progresses, obviously the pitch wears. And also, if players do get quite physical and get thrown to the ground, etc., especially in the wet, then, uh, you know, their kits do start to grubby up, which is... Which is quite nice. Obviously, another move towards a little bit more realism visually. A lot of the changes this year appear to be visual and not uh, gameplay based. Although, uh, obviously, there have been a couple of gameplay tweaks. The goalkeepers, they've said, have, or they are, have been said to have been rewritten, but I haven't really noticed much of a change other than a few animations. But Gundogan will have a shot here. Good save again by the goalkeeper. Palms it well away, actually. And uh, can we get another shot? Gundogan, I've got a bit of space here. We'll turn inside, have a shot again. Another good save, pretty similar to the previous one. We'll stand that up. Not the best of crosses. Ramos' header goes wide. It's probably going to bring this one to a close then. Uh, the final whistle won't be far away now. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. That'd be absolutely superb. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more from me, whether it's uh, FIFA 15 demo stuff for the rest of the next two weeks or so with regards, uh, you know, just some filler content, really, until the full game comes out, but that's not far away. I'll try a long shot here, and it's gone straight against the defender, but, yeah, we'll have FIFA 15 career mode content starting tomorrow with regards to a new series, and then, of course, the Chelsea career mode full-on will, st will properly start when uh, early release comes out, and we'll start again the My Player. Good finish by Adrian Ramos to make it 3-0 before the end of the video. Really pleased with that finish. That's quite nice, and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'm not sure how long it's been, obviously, uh, you guys will know by now how long it is. If it's too long, then let me know if you'd like them to be a little bit shorter. Or if you're quite happy with the length of the video to this point, then uh, obviously let me know. And uh, I'll know to keep them around about this length. But yeah, that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. I'll uh, perhaps cut to uh, the end of the game so we can have a look at the, the finishing cutscenes. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.